to take a reading. Eh? So the reading of the micrometer is equal to the readings of the main scale. This is the main scale, eh? plus the readings of the timbo scale. This is the timbo scale. This is the main scale. This is the timbo scale. Eh? So the reading is equal to the main scale plus the timbo scale. For example, this one. Uh, the readings of the main scale, each one is uh, 1 mm. Eh? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 mm. But then we hear. In the middles of these two, uh, we have another scale here, right? Okay, then this will be the 0 0.5 mm. So 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5. So here, this one, the readings of the main scale is 5, 5.5. Eh? Okay, so the readings of the main scale is 5.5. Mm, eh? this is the mm. Just now, vernier scale is in cm, eh? but this one is an mm, eh? mm. Okay. And then it's the readings of the timbal scale, eh? we read from here. This line is to see which line eh, is uh, coincide with this, uh, the straight line in the main scale. Okay, this 30, right? Okay, it coincide with the, this uh, straight line in the uh, main scale. So the reading will be 30, eh? okay, 30. But 30 is not 30 mm, eh? it's 0 0.30 mm. Each one represents 0 0.01 mm. Eh? So 30 means 0 0.30 mm. So with the reading of the main scale 5.5 and the readings of the timbal scale 0 0.3. So therefore the correct reading, the correct reading will be 5.5 plus 0 0.3. 5.5 plus 0 0.3, it becomes 5.8 mm. Okay, so that is how we take reading from this uh, micrometer. Okay, can any of you tell me what's the main scale? What's the readings of the main scale for this one, the first case? What's the reading of the main scale? Genie, Liu? Yes, come on. Five mm, right? Mm, five mm. So five mm. How about the timbal scale? How about the timbal scale? Yes, come on. Zero point zero seven, okay. Five six seven, zero point zero seven, not zero point seven, zero point zero seven, okay. So therefore, the readings of this uh, micrometer is five point zero seven mm. Okay. How about this one? What's the reading of the main scale? Yes, come on. What's the readings of the main scale? 5.5, that's correct. 5.5, 5.5 mm. Uh, the readings of the vernier scale is still 0 0.07, uh, 0 0.07 mm. And therefore the reading is 5.57 mm. Okay. Uh, I show this example is because a lot of students, uh, they, they make mistake is uh, they Sometimes they do not see this line here, okay? So straight away, they, oh, this is 5, right? So they give the, the main scale 5.0 and then it's the vernier scale 5.0.07. Uh, so then the reading 5.07. That's not correct. Eh? You must be careful on this, uh, the second scale here. Uh, 0, 0 0.5. This is how to read a metric micrometer. A micrometer is used to take very precise measurements. There are different kinds of micrometers, inside micrometers, outside, depth micrometers, inch micrometers. Just look them up on Wikipedia. But here I have a metric one. This one measures to the nearest 0 0.01 millimeters. It says so right here. As you turn the knurls, the measuring parts open up. These are called the spindle and the anvil. The spindle moves, the anvil does not. Now to get down to the business of reading this thing, let's take a close look at what's called the barrel scale. I'll have Sparky, my dog, help me out. He's a pointer. You read the barrel scale by looking at the edge of the part that turns. This part's called the thimble. You begin by looking at these marks. You'll notice there are two sets of marks and a line. The marks above the line are millimeters. The marks below the line are half millimeters. 
Let's stop here a minute and be sure you're with me. What do you think the barrel scale is showing right now? Hit the pause button and think about it. If you said 12 millimeters, you were right. If you didn't, well, there's more to life than being right all the time. Well, let's take a closer look. See, 10, 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half, 12. Here, let's try another one. Pause the video and think about this one. Do you see it reads 14 millimeters? Good, let's move on. Let's try another one. Now this one's trickier. Pause it for a minute and see if you can figure out what the reading is. Did you say 11 and a half millimeters? See how there's a half mark showing? That counts as a half millimeter. Great. You've got the barrel scale down. Remember that we said this mic would measure down to the nearest one one hundredth of a millimeter? Well, here's what that would look like on the barrel. They don't really make marks this small because no one would be able to see them to read them. Obviously, there has to be a better way. Remember that each mark on the barrel is equal to one half millimeter? Another way to think of a half is by saying 0 0.5. Hmm. Another way is by saying 0 0.50 or 0 0.50. Now, Let's put 50 marks on the thimble. As we turn it, the thimble can count from 1 to 50 for us. That means that each mark on the thimble is equal to 0 0.01 millimeters. Now let's put all this together and try to figure out what this micrometer is reading. First, the barrel scale. 10. 11, 12, so it's 12 millimeters plus something. The something comes from the thimble scale. Let's zoom in. 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33. So the reading is 12.33 millimeters. Now here's one for you to try. Now it's trickier. Notice the half mark is showing on the barrel scale. Let's see if you can figure out what to do with that. Did you get 11.72? If so, you're really getting this. If not, you might have missed the half millimeter mark. Let me show you. Okay, first look at the barrel. 10, 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half. Now, write that down. Now, look at the thimble. 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22. Now write that down. Now add them together and you get 11.72 millimeters. Okay, there's just one more small concept and we'll be done. What if one of the marks is just barely showing? Do you count it? Is it ready to be used? Here is the trick. Don't look at the mark to find out whether the mark is showing or not. Look at the thimble. You need to know if a new mark is starting or if an old mark is ending. In this example, look at how big the number on the thimble is. It's showing about 0.47 millimeters. That's a big number for the thimble. Remember, the scale only goes up to 49. Since the scale is nearing the end, it's ending, and so you don't count a mark that's barely showing. The trick is to find which side of the zero you're working on. If you're not yet to zero, it's not yet a mark. Okay, I've moved the micrometer just a little bit. Now the mark is ready to be counted because the thimble scale is starting. You see that the numbers on the thimble are small because the zero just passed by.